Well, hey folks, we're back at the greenhouse. I'm standing on the outside and it's way above my head now, as you can see. This is the final layer of the ICF foundation form. And there's a few extra steps and special steps to doing this last layer. I'm gonna, we're gonna tell you guys about um, what's all involved in the final steps preparing for concrete. But you can see right now on the outside, we've got some bracing here. Brian's put on some two by fours to help hold the forms all together. There's a lot more bracing to come. So this video, we're gonna show you the final steps to prepare for ICF concrete readiness for our year round growing spaces greenhouse. So yeah, we're coming into the door. This is the section has, it looks like it has a little window here. It's uh, only four levels high, and that's because this is where the door is going to be. The rest is the stem wall that the building's going to go on. So, Right, but I made it extra wide so we could drive the tractor through it. The rough, rough opening for the, the, dry, the door is smaller, obviously, but so we'll just build it out with some pressure treated to the, the proper rough opening later. Cool. So That will be definitely convenient. Yes. So I mentioned some things that are a little bit different about this layer, the final level finishing these ICF forms and one of them is putting on these aluminum caps. Brian's steel. working. Oh, st Galvanized. so so one of them is putting on these steel caps. These go on the surface in the openings for the fo ICF forms. And then you mentioned something else that was different um, on the top. Instead of using the plastic ties, you've got uh, these, these, uh, these metal wire chair rails. Chair rails, okay. How can they do it different? Just because? Uh... Um, just because you can't, you don't want the plastic sticking up. Okay. So, Got it. and this goes below the surface of the, the thing. So oh, okay. Makes it and real the, tight. And the uh, steel caps can go right over the top of it pretty easily. Right. Okay. Yeah. So there's still gonna be one more rebar lane on, on the top of that little chair right. rail there. Yeah, I, <laughs> I took this apart to rebuild this. So it's the rebars down there. Oh, okay. So the extra steps are, are the things that are a little bit different about this level. The, like we said, the caps, the chair rail. Uh, right. but really... And then, you know, when you're putting the concrete in, we need something to hold the concrete back. So yep. there'll be a two by um, eight in here, pressure treated mm. up to this level. Okay. So, so I got to get this all put together. Then I'll put screws through here into mm -hmm. the two by six. Okay. So. But really this stage is all about bracing. So that's the other thing. You went down to get some more wood. Right. So normally you would bricklay it, right? You'd have a four foot section and then overlap them two feet. Mm -hmm. So, and then eventually somewhere you probably have common seams, but because our walls are only like six foot 10, six foot eight, mm -hmm. we have a common seam at every single one. Yeah. So. Um, and so I've got to put a little batten board across, screw that in to really strengthen it up. Okay. And so then we'll have a bracing butting up against that on the inside. Yeah, because if I zoom in, you can kind of see that seam go all the way up without overlapping, so. Yeah, so we'll have a, a piece of two by four comes up here like this. Yeah. And then there'll be a brace on here like that. Oh, okay. So be braced to the ground. All, all the way around on the inside and all the way around the outside. Oh, that's a lot of bracing. Okay. Yeah. Well, yep. One Six little, foot. one little bro breaking, broken area and you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Looks like a tricky spot there. Well, so normally you would have put a screw with it. Well, it's got a cap on it to put pressure on it. I thought this would be a little more stout to put the screw in. Uh-huh. It's such a, a narrow piece of foam uh -huh. that, and it's not braced very well. So it's better to have, I think this in there. Mm -hmm. so. so do you have to, you don't normally have to screw all the- Well, you have to on? screw them together, but where the two by uh, eight's gonna go, I don't wanna screw just into, into foam, okay. through foam and into the- yeah. Two by six, so we got plenty of this stuff, so. Mm
Well guys, we've had a little bit of some weather delays. <laughs> we've had quite a lot of thunderstorms in the area, so got behind schedule a little bit, but uh, we'll check in with Brian and sort of see where he's at with the bracing. So I did all the strapping across all the, the gaps that we have, so. So this matches the inside. Right. So you've yeah. got the uh, common seams that you've stripped smaller wood across. Right. So that should be really all we need for the outside. But. Okay. But the inside looks like all finished. Oh yeah, there's a lot more boards going around. And you've got the vertical pieces too. So. Yeah, so we'll probably use ladders when we're filling it full of concrete. Okay. Instead of making a platform all the way around, it really need to be two feet up in the air to look down in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is four feet, and I can see in there. Simple, so yeah, you know, a couple steps up on the ladder, just keep moving the ladders around. We'll make sure it's all clear around, so we can easily get around it. We finished with the uh, the last piece of rebar on the top. Yeah, so, and then the. So I still need to put the diagonals on. I got one over there, but okay. I'm just going to put one on every one just to... You put one diagonal on every one of those common seams? No, um, yes. Okay. On the vertical two by fours. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got your end plate there. Yeah, that came out good. Yeah. So really we're good for inspection at this point. Yes. I called. I'm supposed to come tomorrow. So thumbs up. Everything goes good. Okay. <laughs> and we're scheduled for concrete next week? Next Thursday. Next Thursday, guys. Okay. The 22nd. It should go fast. I mean, all you're doing is pouring it in there. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot to pour down. I can see all the way to the bottom there. <laughs> it's 15 yards. 15 yards. All oh, right. Should have enough. And we can go pick up the corrugated pipe that's up in Menard sitting there. Oh, yeah. Concrete first. Then we're going to be going all around with the air exchange system. Right. I know. I'm surprised we're able to, able to finish this up. We've had so much rain lately. It's just been so thundery and, and, and raining every afternoon but uh nice and blue right there but super yeah i know it's blue there. up there but right across it's like thundering like crazy and not great for our schedule but good for the wildfires because right that's yeah. a problem right now in colorado so exactly more rain is good
I noticed some uh, foam down in here. Did you all go through with a foaming uh, I saw I, I saw I had all the cracks. Okay. So another way to tighten it up and just make sure that, because some of them had some really big gaps, so. Would that leak out concrete? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but stuff like this, so this one here, that, that won't leak anything out. Okay. But there were some bigger, like behind every, where all the common seams are, there were some that might've been bigger. Like there's a big one down there. Mm. So that would leak concrete. Oh, okay. But the whole thing isn't uh, foamed. You didn't foam every single crack, every no. single seam. Yeah, just the every almost every single common seam I did. Oh, okay. Anything that's got, if you have like you got a joint here, but then you got a full piece covering it, you don't need to seam or put foam in there. Mm -hmm. There's there's no there's no gap. Okay. So. But I had some mistakes some places. I had like a half inch gap. Okay. So. Mm. Okay, guys, all the braces are up. So, fingers crossed for tomorrow on the inspection. <laughs> Don't need any redos. <laughs> Don't need any redos, yeah. So, and then we'll be set to pour for next week. So, it's coming along, guys. We'll see you next time. Yeah. All right, bye-bye for now. <laughs>